Hi, this is Gary Fong, and I'm going to explain to you the gray dome. This gray dome is exactly the same as an 18% gray card. The nice thing about having a dome is that it's a half sphere, just kind of like your face, which is nice. That means it's going to measure all the light that's coming completely around. Now, to get spot-on accurate perfect color, we're going to use this gray dome as a handle for the rest of the image so that we can use a color-neutral measuring tool like one that is found in Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom so we'll take the photo like this and then um, we'll just do the measuring tool right on this guy and then when this becomes not warm not cool not reddish not pinkish not greenish when it becomes exactly neutral it will match this exactly and then the rest of the colors will all fall into line okay so right now the color on me is not absolutely perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this on and um, we'll just do a still image from this video and then we will uh, measure it and then find the spot on accurate color. And now that we're in Lightroom I'm gonna just now that I've selected this image I'm gonna hit the develop button which will allow me to make all of the different changes that I'm looking for so it's loading up right now and the thing that I'm looking for is this dropper tool right here because all I need to do to correct the image is to take this dropper tool and click it on anything that's neutral well obviously what's neutral it is this stone click once in the gray spot and I've got a very very nice color balance photo now to, in the presets if I want to save this for all the other photos we're gonna put the dome down and keep continue shooting or if you know we're gonna just shoot another image and then we're gonna make a new preset so I'll just call it something like uh, gray dome 010113 or something like that you know I like to put the project and the date and then we'll uh, on the settings we'll just keep all of that and then we'll just create it now next time when we go and load up an image all I need to do is click on that and the color will revert to this which is neutral so I don't have to measure it each time and especially on all the other photos after this this isn't going to be there uh, we're going to take it out so that's how to do that in Lightroom Now let me show you how easy it is to do color correction with Adobe Photoshop. And uh, this gray background right here, this is uh, one of the preferences in CS6. If you have an earlier version, you'll have white backgrounds with uh, black, but all the menu items are still the same. Okay, so all we do, and this is pretty much all of the different Photoshop versions, is we'll just go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, or I can just do Apple L or Command L on a... Um, on Windows, uh, or is it optional? Anyway, on when you'll see you'll see the the change here. Anyway, so we'll go to levels, and then you see this eyedropper tool right there. The, this one here is the uh, black point. This one here is the white point, and then this is the gray point. That's what's nice about the dome is the dome gives you the gray point. So I'm just going to click once on there like that, and I'm just going to go boop right in the center of that and boom I've got the color adjusted now because what it's done here is it's basically said yep that's gray and so all the other colors should come in a line watch what happens when I click once on this red microphone well what do you think will happen the entire image will turn very blue because it's trying to we're trying to tell it that this red is actually blue and it's not and that's why this is so wacky so again we'll just go ahead and click once in my gray dome and you've got yourself a very very nicely color balanced image and then we'll just say okay and that image is beautifully color balanced and that's all you basically need to do so in Adobe Photoshop to save this color adjustment you'll go over here to the adjustments panel in CS5 or 6 or the other uh, CS's just look for the adjustment panel levels and then in the levels up here you'll see this pull down menu click once on that it will say save levels preset gray dome uh, and then then when I load up all the other images it's real simple when I go to color adjust it all I need to do is go adjustments levels 
and then we're going to go to the preset which is gray dome right there boom and then now all of the images that are in this particular lighting situation that don't change you'll go ahead and use that preset and you'll have the exact same color adjustment than you do here the reason why I've made the gray dome is because it fits in nicely with the other domes in our system and it'll just fit really nicely into your little kit there without having to have an added piece of equipment to go and look around for mm -hmm. 